It's yeah. <laughs> it's my wrestling belt. Look yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's just holding everything it's in. Beautiful. From eating all that beautiful food. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and I will take this and your shoes. They're pretty amazing. Oh, yes. Yes. And I saw your shoes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You have to get a shot of these shoes. They're I amazing. Know how high those are, right? These are like the highest heels I've ever worn in my life. Yeah. What do you do? How did you get downstairs in that in those? Honestly, I don't know. I was that was probably the most nerve-wracking part of my entire performance was just not tripping and falling on my face. That's it. <laughs> so, how, guys, how does it feel to be the last team that's fully intact coming up to the semi-finals, you know? I mean... Oh, wait, come I mean, in. Yes, yeah, come, come in. I mean, I don't know about y'all. Yes. I feel pretty cool <laughs> that we are, like, the only team intact. Um, I got amazing... These are amazing teammates, and yep. they deserve to be here. And so it's just a blessing to be all on the same team. 100%, man. We started this thing together, and we're going to end this thing together. So it's just been really cool to just, you know, stay consistent with each other. And I don't know. It's awesome. Blake's great. Yeah. <laughs> That's so it. Great. <laughs> we're, we're a great team, and, and, you know, we deserve to be the last one intact. A bunch of other chumps on the other team, so, you know. <laughs> Now, I have to ask you, what was it like working with Pink? And especially you, Adam. She, uh, you know, what, what, what was it like working with her? You're just trying to make me nervous. Is yes, that what's yeah. going on? <laughs> All right, well, honestly, I, you know, I don't... I mean, how you would teach your students some of her songs and then to actually meet her? Well, that, that's, that is what's pretty wild. I remember that we did like a, uh, like a little recital at my school once and there was this probably, oh God, I don't know, maybe 10-year-old girl singing that duet that she did with that dude who sings real high. I don't remember what... Uh, just give me a reason. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, and I remember I had to sing his part, and it was so high, and I ended up having to sing the whole, half of it in falsetto. But uh, but yeah, so and then like, and she's standing there, and I'm like, Pink, Pink, where do I know that name? Where do I know that name? And I'm like, Oh yeah, all my students, man. You're so country, <laughs> like a country bumpkin, like man. it's just so a funny. So what about you? What was she? You know, what was her one piece of advice that you'll take away from working with Pink? I think for Paxton and I, just diving yourself emotionally into songs and really looking at it lyrically and figuring out where it relates to you in your life. Um, I didn't realize when I chose this song how much it really did relate to me and, you know, a, a thing that I was going through. Um, so it really hit hard, uh, you know, singing it tonight. I almost cried. I saw myself. Um, but yeah, just emotionally diving yourself into something and also just, you know, overall vocally, you know, your vocal ability, just showing us like little things to do that just made the song even better just by just little things. So, mm -hmm. and the same for you, just the lyrical yeah, side. Just being, yeah, that too. And being fearless when you go out there to perform, making sure that, you know, that your body is just as in tune as your voice is to the music and the lyric and everything. That's an all a part of the whole performance. Paxton, Paxton has a really big problem with that. Um, his body doesn't move very well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, getting into the van. I did, I did. Oh, ah, I, I totally tripped. I didn't see that. I didn't no, see that. It never happened. No. <laughs> you didn't see it, it didn't happen. <laughs> now, I've got to ask you guys, because it's going to be cut down from the top eight down to the top four, you know, four people will be going home. What is one thing that you want to say to your fans? Um... Thank you. Uh, the unbelievable support, um, just seeing from friends, family, and fans across the world. I mean, we're getting Australia. They'll see it, you know, a little later, but like just amazing places that I'm blown away. And um, thank you. I love you guys so much, and I hope to keep making you proud and perform all the time for you. So. What about you, Paxton? Uh, I got to say thank you. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is only the beginning. No matter what happens, no matter what, I'm still coming for you, Pax Pack. We got it. This is only the beginning. Pax. Yeah, man. They know. That, that's the name of your fan group, is it? Oh, I love that. And what about you, Adam? Um, yeah, man. I just thank you so much for all the encouragement. Uh, you know, I, I had no kind of no dreams of being a solo artist or doing anything like this. I mean, you know, I always thought I was just going to play keyboards and have some guy bark orders at me all day and tell me I wasn't playing his piano parts right. So, you know, the, the fact that I get to do this is great. So thank you so much. You're so humble, isn't he? Incredibly talented. All three of you. Thank you so much for talking to us. And I hope to see you very soon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.